We went to the market. Chihuahua dining, fresh market. I mean, hell, it's at night time, so it's still going. It's some good stuff. Mainly fresh food, but there is some people cooking food in there if you want to come over here. Snack food. Pretty good stuff. I like it. So just trust me, you need to come here if you're in this area. Sharathani Market, or maybe Night Market. Oh, look, corn. I don't get any of that back home, do I? I'm gonna just wide angle it. You don't ever eat this, because if you're a Westerner, they think it's like a big deal because it's cheap sushi, but you're probably gonna get sick. Just, just keep that in mind. You probably will be in the toilet all night. And the same thing with this kind of stuff. Now that one, that actually these look pretty good, but the ones you see in like Big C, Tesco, Lotus, pretty, be careful. That's all I'm saying. I call it sick on a stick. Ooh, look. There's always, look at the mushroom. They, the mushrooms in this country are amazing. Mushroom dish. We got, we got fish over here. All right, let me get back with the people that are trying to leave me already. All right, hold, hold on a second, I get these. These are like rice cakes with little veggies in it. So let me get these really quick. And I'm showing you the market so you can right, see it. To the real seafood, here you go. This is per kilo. Now remember, not per pound, per kilo, pop, people. So $5 per kilo, okay? This is big ones. Which I don't really like big prawns or shrimp. I think they're, I'd rather have like medium like this, like 200. This is the one I would have probably. And this one's good too. This one's not too bad. So let's just say that's like six, seven dollars per kilo. Kilo. Oh, we got all kinds of good shrimp. Good stuff here. We're down in by the ocean. You know, you guys expect, but you're in the inland. For all the local people are good, good stuff. You got some dried fish right here. And then squid, of course. I, I don't understand how you can have a variety of squid. I mean, this looks the same as this. So why is this 20 baht more? I, I don't know, maybe there's a reason. It's got a head on, that's right. Maybe you can make some kind of soup out of that. More, oh man, the shrimp looks amazing. Fish too. I don't have. So, I don't have nowhere to cook. I don't have anywhere to cook it. We've got dried fish. Listen, we're in the meat section for sure. All right, we're going over the veggies. I think the people I was with left me over. I don't know. They're somewhere. All kind of good stuff. You people in California. I mean, I watched this video recently and this girl that moved from Asia over there and she was filming a farmer's market walking street over there. It was just insulting almost how much the veggies were. So, I, I mean, you get like all of this right here for like $20. I mean, it's like you go to, <laughs> they give you like a little bag of fruits or vegetables in California for $20. It's unbelievable. And you see right here, I want to show you this. The little short ones uh, they're they're kind of really spicy chili you don't see these everywhere I had a bush like this and the short ones are really desirable for some Thai people or Asian or whatever hey, just let you know that so you don't see it. it's not like a normal regular Thai chili so here's the normal ones over here you see the normal one here's here's the normal Thai chili and then the other one over there it's like not you got everything I mean it's like if you're a chef I mean, you're in heaven, heaven, because you're not paying much at all. I mean, everybody here is a freaking farmer, or their daddy's a farmer, or their uncle's a farmer, and even if they're not, they're bringing it to market here. I mean, look at all this. You even got Western type vegetables here. I mean, it's, it's I love it. It's great. I mean, that's why I left America because it's getting too expensive. All right, we'll see. I love my country, but whatever all right we're walking out of here we're going to go to the seafood restaurant and get some seafood and i'm going to show you all some amazing seafood hopefully soon maybe in the next segment all right take care so we got like 
grab app and they have where they have a taxi service now people that are contractors or you know ride share so this nice lady is taking us over to the seafood restaurant and everybody's like super friendly and chatty so it's good you know and sometimes you ask them and they have a different recommendation that you can go and you might find something out that you didn't know about that you just search the internet and they didn't have it didn't show up so always ask you never know what you might find out all right we're going over there right now i'm really excited because i want to get some fresh seafood in this area we just left the fresh market night market it was pretty good if you're a chef you definitely would be in envy to be in there okay to cook some of that stuff i'm just saying you guys keep watching uh and i'll show you some directions and locations and screen shares at the end of the video we're about to be at this restaurant in a second i appreciate you joining me all right we made it to our seafood place famous oysters in this area basically like big ones yeah For how much? 80 baht. So, well, 60 baht for a smaller one. And you see how big that thing is? I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, you see me, I mean, I mean, it's like pretty big, you know, three, four inches. So it was 60 baht and then eight, what? 70 baht, 80 baht. So what? They do it by size. But they look good. We got us a Leo right here and it's a good place yeah we got a bunch of tables the seafood's out front and maybe i'll be better you got fresh oysters you got a little bit of seasoning like spicy green chili sauce herbs garlic mussels crab prawn it just came up and we've got mixed seafood stir fried rice with fried egg kai on top Oh my god, and of course you gotta have a beer with it. Man, we're doing it right, man. Down here, Surat honey. You gotta make it over here. I think it's underrated. You gotta take a day or two trip over here, okay? And the hotel rooms are cheap for the most part, especially for a Westerner. Alright. Ooh, look good. Wow. 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 Are you ready to eat it? Yeah. Waiting. Fresh tea. Oh, wow. Fresh oyster. All right, Roy. Good, yeah, so fresh. So I appreciate you joining me. Here's screenshots of the restaurant we ate at. If you see right here, there's plenty of seafood restaurants in that area. This bar was also amazing. The guy right there, bartender and owner, was an amazing guy. We had some really cool drinks. This is the location. It's right behind the Evergreen Hotel where we stayed. This is a shot of the corner of the hotel. And this right here is that little bar. They had really good drinks, mixology type of bar. You're probably gonna take a bus like this from Sarathani or the pier. And I encourage you to get over to uh, Sarathani if you have a, a pass through that area or have some time, get some good seafood and enjoy that area. Go to the night market and look around. We'll see you later. Remember, take care and plan and go.